Katie Shelley from Best Buy Canada's blog. This week I've been testing out the UFO UK15 infrared heater. The heater is uh, mounted above me, right above my desk. This is a indoor-outdoor space heater. It's weatherproof. Um, it comes with a remote control that you can use to control it. One of the reasons why you choose infrared heating for your house is uh, because of cold spots. Now, whether you have a furnace that blasts um, natural gas, um, heated air throughout your house, or you have electric baseboard heaters like I do, you're still gonna have cold spots. For me, that cold spot is right in this area where I work. So every morning I get up and my fingers are icy cold and it's really hard to uh, warm up and wait for the heat to kick in after it's been turned down all night long. With the UFO UK15, all I have to do is hit a button and it turns on. You can walk past it and turn it on in the morning when you're going um, in to uh, make your coffee. And you can uh, have your, your area warm by the time that you get back. It takes about 30 seconds to start to warm the area. And the reason why infrared is so great for heating is because it warms you and whatever's around you, but it doesn't warm the air. So if you actually stand here, what I've noticed while using it is if while I'm standing underneath it or sitting underneath it, I can feel the heat, but I also move away from it and it's instantly cold. So it does only heat this one area as well as me. It focuses the heat on me. So I've got it on H1 right now. There are five different levels for heat. Um, on the remote control, there's also a clock setting so that you can set a 24 hour clock. And that lets you have timers to turn your heat off and on so you don't ever have to worry about forgetting that you left it on. If you set a timer, it will turn itself off or it will turn itself on. So if you want to get up in the morning to a warm area, then you have a timer set to turn it on. You can set it to sleep where it'll sweet sleep for a while. You can set a certain amount of time. So like an hour, for example, and then it'll go to sleep. So it'll turn itself off. You can create an everyday setting, so all you have to do is hit a button, and it knows all of your preferences, um, and it makes it extremely easy to use your space heater when you do have a remote control. So I have it on H1 right now, but I can turn it up. It takes about 30 seconds to reach a new power level. Um, the interesting thing is, is when I turn it on in my house, I notice that the power is surging slightly, so I can see my lights sort of flickering, uh, but that does level off really quickly. Uh, this is a 1500 watt unit, so it is going to take power. Um, and after using it for a week, I would recommend that you make sure that you install this unit on its own um, if your plugin has its own breaker or you're not sharing anything with that specific plugin and that will decrease any of the um, power surges you might get just when turning it on. I don't notice it anymore after it's already turned on. Infrared heat is a healthy alternative to um, space heating so it doesn't emit any odor, it doesn't smell like it's burning, it's not loud, you can't even hear it. This is on max level and you can't hear anything. Because it's mounted up on the wall, you don't have to worry about kids touching it, although I would never recommend using this um, anywhere on the floor or on a desk or something like that, because if a child did touch that, that would burn their fingers. Overall, I love it. It heats up this area perfectly. It doesn't heat up my computer, I've noticed, so I don't feel any excess heat on the computer. All I feel right now is a very cozy glow of heat coming down upon me. Um, you can adjust the brackets in the back, so if I wanted to tilt it down a little bit more so that it was directly down, I could do that too. It's very easy to do that. And uh, although I haven't had a power bill for using this uh, unit, I have had used space heaters in my house and I know approximately what they cost. And every all of the research that I've done online about infrared heating says that they're less expensive to use than a traditional space heater. Um, so apparently it only costs um, pennies an hour to operate. After using the UFO UK15, I think that this is a great option for the coming winter. I find that I'm always, always cold in my house, um, especially in this specific area. And if I have to get up really early for like five or six o'clock in the morning and work, I want it to be warm. So having this option to turn it on remotely, to set a timer so that I know that it's always turned off and I don't have to worry, um, it, it's a great, great unit. 
So that's it for my look at the UFO UK15 infrared heater. You can see my full review and more photos on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching.